I'm sorry, I have to go home. Don't touch her. You're coming. <gasps> you little. Got him. Hello there everybody, it is I, Big Bear, back for the next episode of This War of Mine. If we can recall in the last episode, I was raided. I think I've run out of food. They've also stolen cigarettes and herbs, but we had a really, really good haul, and as we remember, we also got the machine gun and the bullets. I have been a bit of a numpty because I thought that I had taken both machine guns, and I actually looked back on the last episode, and I did indeed say that I will just leave a machine gun there, and I will go back and get it. So I think that is the plan to go back to the airport and get one of the guns. I can leave this machine gun here with the bullets. If this had been here, I think we could have saved ourselves running out of food, but I am now very, very anxious because we have absolutely no food and everybody is hungry. A few people are hungry and tired. Katty is hungry and tired. So I think the first thing to do is build a secondary bed and I need to put Pavel to his kip almost immediately because he is absolutely knackered after his last raid. Katia is knackered as well because she was the one doing... Can I build a bit? <gasps> Thank goodness, yes, yes, I can. Um, because she was the one doing all the guarding last time. Um, and I don't think, yeah, thankfully she wasn't injured. But once Pavel has made this bed, I can get both of them to their kip. They are all hungry, and I'm just wondering as to what the next best thing is to do. Because I need food. I'm hoping that when I go back to the airport, there will be sufficient food there for me to pinch, because I did get rid of two people. Thankfully, Pavel's mindset doesn't seem too bad, because I think hacking somebody to death with a shovel, apologies for the graphicness of the last episode, probably would have taken their toll. But these two are sleeping out. So, okay, let me have a wee think. What else do we need to... I'm just anxious that I don't... I think we've got a lockpick... I'm tempted to bring the shovel with me, but I don't know how many uses that still has left. Oh, you see, Bruno's slightly sick as well, and we, we can have a crowbar. But I don't want to use any components at the moment. So I might just go back to the airport and get a lay of the land and see how things pan out. You know what I will do, though? Because I have the herbs and they might get pinched, I'm going to get Bruno to take some medicine to heal himself and Katia is hungry and tired. Pavel is slightly sick but he's recovering. There's those kids back. Oh no, no, help! I've given you two lots of medication already. Give me something. If they're gonna say that they need medication, I don't have any medication, so... Uh, hello again, we're hungry. I have no food. I, am, I, I have no food. I would give it to you if I had it. Hi again, thanks. Thanks to your mum is getting better, but she's still weak and we have no food left. We are very hungry. Can you give us something to eat? Maybe later. It'll be all right. They didn't say no. Okay, because I have no food. I need to go and find food for myself. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 I'm trying to think about what to do for the best now, because if we... I don't know how... They're not very hungry, which is a good thing, but I think at the very least... What items do we have for Barton? We have two diamonds and we can also use the... I'm, I'm really thinking about going back and getting the coffee, which was apparently a really, really good bartering item. But for the moment, we're just going to end this day. Bruno isn't tired. Is Bruno... Oh, no. Katia's just hungry. Pavel's still slightly sick. Bruno's on meds now, so that's good. And when Pavel gets back, I can give him the herbal medication as well. So we're going to get Katia to... She has good bargaining skills, though. I just don't know... Apart from in St. Mary's Church, I know that you can barter with the priest there. Let's get Pavel back out to scavenge. Katia, you're going to guard. And Bruno, you're going to sleep because you're slightly sick and you're on meds. Um, let's go back to the airport to see if we can get the gun. And if we're preparing... I, now, that's another thing. I don't think I need to equip the gun with Katia. So long as we leave it at home, she can use it to defend herself. There was no option to assign people anything, was there? No, that's pretty much it. So just guard. We're going to leave the machine gun. We're not going to take that with us. And there should be another gun that I can go and pick up. I don't think I need the shovel at the moment. I'm, not, I'm going to take the lock pick just in case... And I will be back when I get the machine gun.
Okay, we are back. <gasps> the gun's gone! Oh, I cannot believe that has actually happened. That is a disaster. Why didn't I pick it up in the first instance? So I've really cost myself a machine gun then. Oh, oh fridge. Oh, and at least I can use the lockpick. Oh. That is exactly what I needed to keep things ticking over. Let's... I'm just going to use the lockpick. I am so disappointed in myself that I didn't use... That I didn't pick up that second machine gun. I just assumed the body would still... Oh! Broken shotgun. A half dismantled shotgun. Okay. And a damaged helmet. Uh, I know that I can repair these things. I think I would need to upgrade my workbench. But... Oh! I got, oh, wow. Okay. Well, okay, it's not a total loss. That's some good positive things that have occurred here. Is there anything up here that I can... No? Is that literally it? I cannot believe that that is the case. That we've just completed... I, I, that was, that's the dumbest thing imaginable. To, to lose a machine gun, that is such an important thing. And it could be the difference between life and death. And I'm just going to fill it. Okay, um, so we've got one canned food, two meat. So that should do so for some broth in the meantime. If I need to, I can always barter for more meat. We have a machine gun to protect ourselves, so I probably shouldn't complain so much. I'm going to have to have a think about a crafting table and upgrading it to actually get that helmet and potentially repair the shotgun. I think that sounds like a sensible thing to do. I don't know. I, I, I mean, I think I've got about seven or eight weapons parts that should do the job. And it looks like everything was calm, which is good. Okay, so Pavel's very hungry, Katia is very hungry, and... Oh, Bruno slept poorly. Did I tell him not to sleep on the floor? That was a bit daft. Um, and you know what, Pavel... You are slightly sick as well, but you're going to be the one on medication this time. Actually, sorry, Bruno, do not go to your bed just yet, because I need you to cook something. If I upgrade the cooker again, though, will that mean that I use even less components? I've never upgraded it more than once previously. Four bits of weight. A more efficient stove allows us to procure food cooking more efficiently. Okay, okay, well, you know what? I, I just don't have... Oh, Food. Okay, well, four components out of 51. Well, I need fuel, so there's no getting around that. So if I cook stew... See, they're very hungry now as well, and I know for a fact that the stew isn't going to bring them back up to full hunger. I've got one tin of food. Mm. And what's the issue here? So I've got vegetables and meat. Oh, and it takes... What does it take? Two fuel as well. Oh, for goodness sakes. Okay, and you've taken your medication. Okay, Pavel. Let's see what we're doing. Let's see what we're doing. We've got the helmet so we can repair that. The shotgun I need... So I need weapons parts. But do I not have... I've got one and I need seven. Great. But that's good though. Because... It does mean that at least I can repair the shotgun. I'm just anxious about leaving. Anything else? What am I trying to say here? I'm just anxious about taking the shotgun with me for any purpose. Oh, okay. They want tinned food. Uh, Katia, go to bed. No, 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 no. Katia, go to bed. Pavel, you need to go to bed. Bruno, go and answer the door. I, I, I think I told Bruno to actually sleep on the floor last time, did I? I don't know. I can't remember. Have a heart. Hello again. We're hungry. Okay, so I have one tin of food. That's all I have.
last couple of days. Give me a sec. I, I don't, I can't, I can't. I have no food. I have one tin. Why can't I just give them one tin? Let me know when you've decided. I mean, hopefully the trade, you know, you see, I don't think the trader is going to come at this point in time as well, but I'm going to have to say no then because I have, please, maybe you can change your mind. Well, yes, I want to. Oh dear. Okay, so Katty is just hungry. Pavel is very hungry. So I need to make more fuel. I'm just going to have to use more components, but I'm not going to use wood because I've only got four wood. So I'll have to. That'll have to make do in the meantime. And then we'll call it a day. And I think I'm going to have to go off to the I don't know the supermarket. I guess. Or can I go and should I go and barter with the priest? What? I need water now. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'll just have to make that for Pavel because he's going to have to eat. There's no getting around it. That is it in a nutshell. So let's get up. Let's feed Pavel. Uh, Bruno, you're knackered. There's nothing I can do about that. You can go to sleep. Katty is going to guard. So you're just going to have to suck it up. Um, I've got vegetables. I need meat. I need to be able to trade. I don't want to take the gun with me at this point in time. I'll take the shovel with me. I think it's time to go to the supermarket and just see what we can scavenge um, at this stage. Yeah, I think that's the most. But I'll wait until he's in his kip and then... Actually, let's see what's happening in the news very quickly. Run like the wind, Bruno. So what have we got then? Some classical music. It's cool outside. With clouds and possibly rainfall or advice for cold evenings is grab a good book and a hot cup and relax. Okay, so I'm hoping that we're not going to be hit into... Oh no, we probably will hit winter at some point in the near future. Coffee is becoming less and less available in the besieged city of Pagor and the price of coffee on the black markets are expected to rise. Where? Crime is on the rise in Pagor and there are reports of armed assaults and robberies. Okay, so at least I have a machine gun now to keep myself safe. Where did I put that coffee though. That is the only question. I think it was back at the gas station, was it not? Because I'm not left at St. Mary's Church. Where else have I been? I've, I've only visited three places, so the coffee must be back at the gas station. So, but I'm going to go and visit the supermarket first, and then I think what I will do is on my next raid, I'll look at visiting. Sleep in the bed. You're going to guard Katia, and Pavel, you're slightly sick on meds. Slept poorly, hungry, slightly sick, sad. And that is it in a nutshell. We'll take the shovel with us in the meantime. And this is just to see if I can stock. I mean, surely there's got to be water in the supermarket. I'm not alone here. Ooh, other survivors. Oh, speak of the devil. I'll take the gunpowder and the food as well. Okay, um, well, let's just grab all of that and we can see where we're going to go from here. That's it. <laughs> the right. That's a. Who's this? That's a pretty name. For such a pretty face. Looking for something. This guy isn't giving me good vibes. Food. Poor girl. I can give you food for a favour. <gasps> Is he going to do what I think he's going to try and do? Just come with me, babe. We'll dine and have some fun. Don't you dare. No, I'm afraid I can't. Stay away from her. If you don't want to starve, you have to do what I tell you. No, don't. I'm sorry, I have to go home. Don't touch her. You're coming. <gasps> you little. Got him. Whoa, that was quick. Please help me. I have. Run away. I didn't hurt you. There is another machine gun. Fantastic. Grab all. Oh, yes. Now we're cooking with gas. Did she get away then? We must have gotten away. Yes! Okay. Did she think I was trying to attack her for a second there? I hope not. 
Oh, that was close. Oh, you know what? We're going to bring a roll-up cigarette for, oh, it reeks, it reeks of acrid, bitter smoke. Well, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. And I think we'll just leave the, you know what? Actually, we'll take the herbal medications. There's a lot here then. Was that, uh, there must be other people here though, surely. Do I need a crowbar for these? No, I don't think I do. Oh, wow. Okay, and I've got no... I've got some wood. I need to take that water. There's no question. Otherwise, I can't. Let's try upstairs first. Otherwise, I won't be able to cook more food. I'm going to have a wee loot around, and I'll be back with you in a momento. Oh, coffee and uh, weapon parts. So I'm going to focus on those for this trip. A faded leaflet with skull and crossbone trees. Danger. Do not touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind or unexploded may be booby trapped. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. Reports. Report any such finds to the nearest armed outpost. <gasps> so if uh, does that mean that I'm going to find weapons that are booby trapped? We shall see. Okay, so we are almost finishing our uh, finished our scavenging for this area. I need a lock pick for that. I've gotten a lot of stuff on this raid, and I'm just very, very conscious of the time. I now think I've got four or five. All I would need really is two more components. I need a lock pick to force that open. What have we got? Um, and there's clearly something else down here that I can find. But in the meantime, you know what? I'm just going to skate it to the exit, and we're going to call it a day of an evening of scavenging there we have gotten that is a terrific haul i've got a whole ton of stuff i've now got a secondary machine gun i hope that lassie knows that i was trying to save her she did say help me so i got the guy i've got no crafting materials in the last two raids that i've done though but everything else is so much more worth it because i've gotten i even found some vegetables there i found some meat which is terrific so i think i'm going to yeah i've got medicine i hope it'll help I think I'm going to make sure that everybody's not hungry. We've been raided. Used to... Ah, okay, see, now this is how the mechanic works as well. So if you have a machine gun, we use two bullets to chase them off. I found more ammunition. I've got some ammunition that I can make. I've gotten three food, nine water. I've even got some vegetables. There's medication, tin food, coffee, which is one of the um, commodities for trading, which is going to go up. So I think that is an excellent place to leave off for the next episode. We're going to make sure that everybody's fed, nobody's hungry, and everybody's happier, and we're looking pretty good. I'm very, very happy with this. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, everyone. Uh, if you like my playthroughs, please hit that like and subscribe button, and as always, this is Big Bear signing off, and there will be another video.